We all suffer a duality in this country, in our own personal lives. I could talk about the problem all night, but instead, I would rather address these issues and give you some cognitive solutions. And in the studio tonight, Brother T.J. Lofton has blessed us with his presence. Brother T.J. Lofton has some solutions and some resources that need to be written into the ROP that is about to drop. Welcome to the show, Brother TJ. What's going on, my brother? How you doing? It's a lot going on. I mean, it's the holiday season, and we're blessed. We're blessed, but at the same time, although, like I try to tell people all the time, I, I don't look for outside sources to, to fix our problem, but do us a favor and just take your foot off our necks. Well, my brother, I hear you on that. You know, we just got to change the, the paradigm. You know, people have problems, they got jobs. So they, people with jobs or something. They, they have no voice. You know, I can, they don't want to show up at City Hall and complain about what the mayor said because they might lose their job. Wow. You see what I'm saying? They, they, they are in fear because if I rock the boat, then something might happen. You know, I can't afford to lose my job. I can't afford for the boss to say something wrong. Like, I saw you last night down there and I didn't agree with you. Are you support of the gang members? I'm wow. gonna let you go. Wow, ain't no gray area. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut back to your hours or something. So people can't su they can't support this this coming standing up because there's too many employed people. But what is the solution? The solution is entrepreneurship. We got to start the businesses. We got to turn around and put our children in school to learn things that they're really going to be able to benefit from and not just for themselves but so they can come back and create businesses in the community and hire their family and friends right like, like what we got a new president coming on board they say donald trump right everybody's looking at this cat like he's a racist and all that stuff but you know what i can care less because all of them gonna do something that we don't like right the united states is nothing but a train track and all these different presidents ain't nothing but different conductors but just like every train track what's happening they all going in the same direction, no matter who's driving. Right. So one thing we do know is that they're protecting these businesses. So what I look at is, whenever a president comes in office, what are they going to do? They're going to open the door for their people. Where are they going to make money? What did George Bush do? They was oil barons. Right. Gas went from 99 cents to $5 a gallon wow. immediately. Cheney's a warmonger. Boom. We end up, all of a sudden, we end, we're bombing everywhere at war. Halliburton paid. Rest of the great, 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 great grandkids is going to be multi-billionaires and trillionaires because of decisions they did while they was in office. Fast forward the story. What does Trump do? He's a developer. This right. dude's in, he's in the construction, building cities, building uh, hotels and golf courses. So what's going to happen now? Let's look at what's going on in, in America. 101 construction projects going on in downtown L.A. High-rise buildings at eight hundred million and up each. Wow. Who living there? But but who do you do you got a family member working on one of them construction you know, jobs? No, I don't. And I cannot afford that uh, rent or that lease. But, but even better yet, do you got anybody in school learning carpentry? Wow. Anybody wow. learning welding? Anybody learning auto uh, mechanics? Uh, HVAC, auto mechanics, auto body? Multi-trillion-dollar-a-year industries that America is built on, but we ain't learning none of that. Wow. Everybody wants to go to school and get a business administrator or librarian tech. I'm like, half the time somebody sent from college, I'd be like, what is that? What is, what is you major? What does that mean? For how much money did you, did you pay to that pay? university that you got, that you still in debt over, right. that you had, that didn't guarantee you a job? Right, so I need you to go to school. If you're going to go to school and spend 160000 to 300000 to learn something, can you come back to the community with something that can help us all instead of just you? Wow. Because guess what? Steve Jobs started Apple Computers on $1,250. Mark Zuckerberg started Facebook on $1,500, and they both was billionaires. Steve Jobs died with $300 billion in his savings account. Savings account, something he don't use. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So, but yet we over here spending hundreds of thousands to get jobs, paying 60,000. So fast forward the story. If we want to get some type of respect, we got to turn around and start creating the apps. We got to turn around and start building our own homes, hiring our friends and family members to build these homes. Let's build some tracks. Like right now, we're being priced out of our own communities. 
because of all these major corporations that's coming to the area. But guess what? I tell people all the time, in the next couple of years, that same house that your mama paid twelve thousand for, that's right now is worth six hundred thousand. Right. That's gonna be worth two, three million. Wow. And by twenty twenty, you ain't gonna see too many black people living in LA unless they are wealthy. Unless they are wealthy. Unless they have the money. And if they here they still own a home, they're gonna have some money in their houses. But my point is, we got to change the way we think. So let's look at the people that got money in their house. House jumped from three hundred thousand, now it's worth seven hundred. Then all of a sudden, boom, it jumps over to one point two million. And they turn around and sell it. Where are you gonna go? To the Aloe Valley where the mayor is trying to lock everybody up? Hmm. You see what I'm saying? Putting out. So my whole point of what I'm trying to say is when you do sell your house, if you choose to sell it, take some of that money, invest it. Right. Come right. back to the community, find the next Kendrick Lamar, and manage him. Get him out there. Find Andy King Eddie with his radio show and get it going big. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's turn around and blow stuff up business-wise so we can come back and hire others. You know, so we can train like my brother here, the engineer behind the, the scenes making stuff happen. Can we have some classes? There you go. We teach some young people Each how one. to do what you're doing. We ain't got to wait till after college no more. You know what I'm saying? These young, like I look at the, air, the Tomorrow's Aeronautical Museum in Compton Airport. Yes. Isaiah Cooper just flew around America, uh, made history, and the, the world's record. And by the way, inside of uh, what is the ebony most powerful 100 black men in Africa in America African American African Americans in America is a 16 year old a from 16 Compton? year old from Compton so that's something that we need to be doing that brother can turn around and start manufacturing his own products he can turn around and say I'm gonna put a warehouse right here and hire 150 of my best people family and friends and give them jobs because I'm making 15 million a year selling airplanes and backpacks with my likeness on them. 